God bless you one more time. God bless you once again. Um, this is another day that the Lord has made. Um, today I'm just going to be quick by the grace of God. I pray that the Holy Spirit of God ministers through me. I pray that Father, you grant me utterance. I pray that Father, minister through me. Let this be a great blessing and bring transformation to myself and everybody that will watch this video. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I pray. Amen. Beloved, I come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is what the Bible says. The blessed is the man that comes in the name of God. Amen. I don't come in my own name, but I come in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. By the way, this is my Jesus-centered shirt. I'm wearing my jesus shirt. Amen. Anyway, so, um, the last video, which is yesterday, we studied about self-delay. Self-delay, which, um, by the grace of God, we studied, we took something from Genesis 24, from verse 49, when Abraham sent his chief servant to go look for a wife. He finds um, Rebecca goes to their house, you know, and the parents say, hey, the Lord has spoken, take the lady and go. But the boy started showing off, you know, he started eating and drinking and he slept. Now, when he woke up in the morning, he said, send us away. They said, nope, let her wait for 10 more days. You see, the Lord had already made a way, but he delayed himself because he was too complacent. He delayed himself because he was too comfortable. He delayed himself because he was relaxed. Amen. And so for many of us, that is how we delay that we delay ourselves. And I am praying, I've been praying that um, God will help us to overcome that delay. Amen. So we are going to continue from there. So if you have your Bible without wasting time, I'm going to read from Genesis 24. Um, verse 14, I'm going to start from verse 49 again, that will be, you know, I'll just read it off, brush through, and then um, we'll take it from there, amen. Genesis 24, verse 49. And now, if you would deal kindly, kindly and truly with my master, tell me, and if not, tell me, that I may turn to the right or to the left. Then Laban, or Laban, and Betel answered and said, the thing proceeds from the Lord. We cannot speak unto thee bad or good. Behold, Rebekah is before thee. Take her and go, and let her be thy master's son's wife, as the Lord has spoken. 52. And it came to pass that when Abraham's servant heard this their ways, he worshipped the Lord, bowing himself to the earth. Verse 53. Now we are going to start from verse 53. Amen. And the servant brought forth jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment, and gave them to Rebekah. And he gave also to her brother and to her mother precious things. Verse 54, Genesis 24, verse 54. And they did eat and drink, he and the men that were with him, and tarried all night. And they rose up in the morning, and he said, Send me away unto my master. Now, I'm going to pause here and we will talk. The Bible says, verse 54, that, And they did eat and drink, he and his men. He and the men that were with him. I'm going to, you know, let, let's look at something here. This is a man that is on an assignment. Go get a woman, bring the woman. He's gone, find the woman, but he's relaxing. He's gone from the woman, but he's eating, he's drinking, he's chilling. And now, he was with some men. He was with some people who knew the assignment they carry, who knew why they traveled, who knew why their purpose of being there. But the Bible says, instead of them taking the, the lady and leave, they ate and drank. He and the man. Listen, there are some people in your life. There are some friends in your life. There are some people that are very close to you. They know, <coughs> excuse me, they know you are making mistakes, but they can't tell you. None of these men were wise enough or bold enough to remind him of their fake focus and purpose. But all of them, they were silent, they were with him. They just followed, they ate, they drank, and they slept. They tarried all night. It is my prayer that God will bring the right people in our lives. 
people who may be subordinates, people who may be, you know, younger, people who may be so close to us that when we are going astray, they will not be afraid to let us know that, hey, in a polite way, the mister, remember, this is why we are here. This is what we want to achieve. This is the purpose for which God brought us here. The Bible says all of them, they ate, they drank, and they slept the whole night. May God bring the right people to us. Amen. You see, this, this video, we are learning how to overcome delays. Because initially, the man and the servant and his people, the servant had delayed himself. But today we are learning how to progress, how to overcome delays. Amen. You, you can overcome delays when you surround yourself with the right people. People that will be able to correct you. People that will be able to remind you of your focus and your purpose in life. Amen. Now, and he said, send me away unto my master. Now, that was another mistake. Initially, they said you can take the lady and go. The door has been opened. God has made the way. Now, you showed up, you gave them money, and you gave them gold, fine. You slept, another mistake, fine. When you were up in the morning, take the woman and tell them, bye, we are leaving. Why do you have to go and seek another permission? That is one mistake of most people, especially most of us, most people that are from Africa. You know, we, we think it is humility. When God has already opened that door, that is why in Africa, in most parts of Africa, even married people can't kiss in public because they, if, if, to them it is almost like a sin. To them, it is like you have to have some privacy, you have to have some permission, you, you have to be extra polite. And that was a mistake the servant made. Instead of him realizing that he's made several mistakes, take the lady, tell them by and go. He also went and asked for another permission. Meanwhile, they had already said that God had made a way. I remember recently when I was in Ghana, one of the guys that helped me uh, with one of the crusades, he came to my house and I asked him, um, God bless you. How would I be able to, you know, is there anything that I can do for you to be a blessing to you? And he was just looking at me. He couldn't say anything. When I came back, he said, he said to me, Oh, man of God, I thought you were going to give me one of the laptops. I said, for what? Why would I give you one of the laptops? When I asked you if there's anything I could do for you, you couldn't even say anything. And you think that, you think that will make me think you are humble? No, I, I, I am scared of people like that. People who can't speak out. People who, who you know, humble things. People who keep things within them. I am scared of people like that. It is not humility. It is stupidity. It can be stupidity. Excuse my French. Amen. And so the, another mistake that the servant made was trying to ask for permission. I'm trying to make this video very short. Amen. Now, let's continue. Verse 55. And her brother and mother said, Let a damsel abide with us a few days, at least ten. After that, she will go. Why? Because if you don't know your rights, that you have been given permission, God has opened the door, you have given us the bright price. If you don't know that you have every right to take the lady and you want to ask for permission, yeah, okay. Now we know that you don't know your identity, you don't know who you really are, you don't know the rights you carry, and so we will delay you 10 more days. And that is what happens to most of us. God has already opened that door for you. God has already made the way for you. Don't be asking questions. Don't be asking people for permission. People that most likely will impede on your progress. Amen. But watch this. One thing that can also delay you is when you try to delay others. Because to them, to the brother and the mother, they thought they were delaying the boy. But also, they were also delaying Rebecca's blessing and marriage. You see, Jesus said the other day that it is for your own good that I live so that you too will be promoted and you'll be able to do greater things. Listen, in life, especially in ministry, when you fail to help others to progress, you will sit there, you will be doing the same thing. Let's learn from Jesus. Let's 
push others. Let's push your people that are even younger, people that, you know, submit to us. Let's help them grow, mature, and then by that, God can also promote us, lest you will be stagnant in where we are. Now watch this. Verse, verse 56. Now that was, this is where we are going to be praying. This is why I want everybody to pray so that you progress. this. He said, and he said unto them, Hinder me not. Don't stop me. Do not stop me. Seeing the Lord has prospered my way. You know God has made a way. So don't stop me. That is why you must stand on your feet and begin to declare that. That is the prayer you should be praying. People will, if you give people a chance, they will stop you. They will give you every reason to delay yourself. They will give you tangible reasons to delay yourself. You know, it was as if they loved the lady. It was as if, as if oh, they loved their company, but it was delayers. And so there are so many people who have to progress, who have to do certain things. And sometimes your own parents will say, oh, you are too young. Oh, wait. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, it is good to wait. But you always have to heed to the voice of God. You always have to know times and seasons. Amen. Now, the boy was bold bold enough to confront them listen in life when you fail to confront your blessing could be taken out of your hand i'm going to end this video very here i mean this video here amen because of time you know i'm going to end it here but it is my prayer that we will get the courage and the boldness to confront anything or whosoever may be delaying us he said no do not hinder me you know ideally he should, be, he should be polite, he should be shy, because they are his master's parents in the Lord, mother and father in the Lord. But guess what, sometimes you have to bury that politeness, that respect, and confront so that you can progress. He said, no, don't stop me, do not trouble me, do not hinder me, because you know God has made a way. Every demon, every principality, every person, every individual, every group that wants to stop you and my blessing. We declare that no way. God has made a way. And when God spoke, if God spoke it, he will do it. If God has spoken, I will not allow any man, any human being to hinder me. Be that bold. If not, you will stay, you will be stagnant and nothing progressive will happen. It's my prayer that the Lord will help us to be bold like the servant of Abraham who confronted the Elos. And the Bible says, when you refer that, the Bible says, now they said, now take Rebecca. And, uh, and not just Rebecca, they even, gave, they even gave him servants to go and save Rebecca. Yes, because he confronted, he got double, he got more. Amen. May God give us the grace to confront whatever is delaying us. Anything that is delaying you, may God give you that boldness to confront it in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Tomorrow, I'm going to use another Bible chapter, another Bible chapter to um, continue with this teaching. Amen. Confronting what delays you. Amen. And I am sure that you will pray and God through it is going to transform our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.